Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez and welcome to Hector's Shop. In today's episode, we're going to be fabricating a custom-made trailer so we can easily transport our push mowers, weed eaters, and blowers. Make it easier for the guys to load, unload, and get their job quickly and efficiently. Now I want to make sure that when I cut my tubing, it's a clean 90 degree cut. By achieving that, I use a 90 degree angle iron as a fence where the saw will ride the edge. You clamp it down, then I take a square, bring it up to my fence, already knowing the distance where you're gonna be cutting with the blade. Make sure I'm square, and clamp it down, and you're ready to cut. Okay, now that we have all of our frame pieces cut and ready to weld, the next step is to grind your area that you're going to be welding on. When I get down to clean metal, this will give you a stronger, much cleaner weld. We're going to have to have these two pieces at a 90 degree angle. You can get a jig like this, which will hold your stock pieces perfectly 90 degree and square. And while you're welding, it'll keep it from warping too much. Or you can try to freehand it. Use yourself a square, probably a bigger one than this, so you can get squared up. And you'll want to tack each corner all, all the way around the area so you can eliminate as much warpage as possible. Not that we have welded our frame, it's time to grind down our welds. That way our expanded metal can lay flat even on that frame. We've cut our expanded metal, we're welding it on. We're using one inch round stock for an axle. It is important that you weld this axle as square as you possibly can to the frame. It'll be sort of like a wheel alignment on your vehicle. Next, we're gonna weld a one inch washer behind the wheel that'll act as a stop. Here we are welding our tow bar. And here we used one inch square stock to build our rails and two inch flat stock for side protection. All right, now it's time to weld our hitch. I went ahead and drilled a three quarter inch holes on two quarter inch flat stock. And it's time to weld it to your tongue. Now here's the secret or a good tip to keep these two holes aligned when you're welding. Grab yourself a long bolt, and make sure it's longer than two inches. Run that through, using a piece of scrap, square tubing, throw it on there, and I use washers. That'll equal your distance. Throw your other piece on there, and lock her down. In this manner, it holds your two pieces together. You know your bolt holes are lined up, and you're set to go. There we have it. Custom built trailer to meet our specific needs at our golf course. For under 200 bucks, surely is not a bad deal. I wanna thank you for joining me here today on Hector Shop. We'll see you next time. Remember, keep those zerks greased.